What's up everybody, it's Trevor and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today is a video I've been wanting to make ever since I saw the Rise of Iron trailer, the full trailer that we got. Today we're going to talk about the possibility of an exotic weapon that is an actually original weapon. Now this is all just speculation, nothing is confirmed, this is just my theory behind this particular weapon that I've seen throughout the trailer and on the Bungie website itself and I'll show you all that where you can find it yourself. But today we're going to be talking about the Kavestov. Um, I do believe that's how you say it. It's obviously, it's a Russian name. But this right here, for anybody that's ever played Destiny, you know this weapon because it's the very first weapon you ever obtained in Destiny. The very first one. There's no way you cannot get this weapon. But the cool thing about this is that in Rides of Iron, this weapon has reappeared. Now, I'm going to show you right now on the Bungie page where you can find this. If you go to the Bungie page itself, here I'm on the main menu. You just all you have to do is simply scroll down and then click on Destiny Rise of Iron. And it'll bring up the the whole Rise of Iron screen thing, which is kind of cool animation. You skip it and you scroll down and you can see this Titan here. This Titan is obviously holding this weapon. This weapon is seen throughout the trailer as well. In this particular this particular Titan is holding this weapon in every cutscene of the trailer itself. Now if we scroll down more down to the expand your arsenal. It's a bunch of snippets of a bunch of new armor and weapon and gear and ghosts and class items and all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, there's the Iron Gallahorn, but there right there is also our Kvestov. Uh, there it is. It looks to be revamped. It looks to be have a new design to it. It's upgraded. I think it would be awesome if this came out as an exotic weapon. Now, like I said, there is no confirm this is what we're getting type of thing, but it is too hard not to deny the fact that this gun is coming back in Rise of Iron. It just can't. And this gun has actually been a fun gun to use. Like back in the day, it was really, it was a, it was an all right PvP gun. I mean, it legit was. Now with all the changes and everything and all these other weapons, the gun itself isn't the best gun to take in the PvP. But I think it'll be great again. I think it'll be awesome that they bring back the weapon that you started with and bring it into an exotic version. Now, I'm okay with it being a legendary. Now, the only reason why I even say this is because we've seen um, we've seen them take the Stranger's Rifle, which if you've beat the game, you've also obtained this weapon itself as well. And with the uh, Taken King, they took the Stranger's Rifle and they made an exotic version called No Time to Explain and a couple little different perks on it. But that's what they ultimately did was took what everybody found that weapon itself was also an amazing weapon in pvp as well they just took it and said here here's the same thing with a little bit twist and a new paint job this is pretty much what they're going to do with this weapon as well i think it'll be awesome to add in some cool i think i want it to be an exotic to have some exotic perks the gun itself is a very unique per gun in general so i think it's going to be an exotic uh, version of it i'm guaranteed i'm 100 percent certain it's going to be an exotic version of it what perks can be on it i have no idea i know that the base gun itself needs stability as one perk that needs to be on there stuff like uh interesting stuff like that i think it'll be cool to have this gun have the ability to switch from full auto to a single shot so you can have an assault rifle or you can have a scout rifle in one gun we have yet to see a gun that's done that particular thing we have zero's regime that can slow fire when aiming down the scope but i want it so you can switch between toggle between full auto and uh single shot would be awesome and to uh when it switches the single shot you have a scope in your inventory that you can switch to increase your range when you switch the single shot your damage is increased 20 percent per bullet or something like that to give it that uh, impact and that feel of a scout rifle and then you switch back and you have that close quarter assault rifle feel i think that would be awesome it would make the gun 100 percent unique uh, to the destiny lineup of exotics itself but that is where i stand i've been wanting to make this video for a while and talk about this ever since i saw the rise of iron trailer i was been pumped i like this gun unfortunately i don't think i have it on my xbox uh, i do believe i deleted the gun or maybe it's still in my vault i cannot remember uh, the playstation i've kept it on my characters so i'm super excited cannot wait to see what this really is and uh, get my hands on it and play uh, around with it i'm stoked for it stoked for rise of iron cannot wait so hopefully you guys are just as excited as i am you know let me know in the comments comments down below if you feel the same way as this um i think it's gonna be great to bring back a gun that everybody 
once had probably didn't like because a lot of I mean once you got into the tower you immediately started getting weapons that are better uh, than this gun in general uh, so I don't think a whole lot of people really kept or used this weapon so it'd be cool to see it come back in a different form upgraded and prettier so anyways guys that is the video for today hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button don't forget to follow me on instagram not instagram twitter i don't have an instagram actually i do anyways follow me on twitter at trevor dunn description down below we'll get to that until next time guys i'm trevor and have a fantastic day